in preparation in preparation for the supper, I would like to invite the brethren to stand up so that we can straighten out the, the benches near the, the wall. So the brethren stand up, the bench is going to be pushed. That's right. Now bench number two, the children. Luciano. Do the same thing on the back. Come from backwards towards the front. Amém. Amém. As crianças. Amém. The children, they have prepared a song. Let's hear the children singing a song. Amen. Glory to God. I invite the church to stand up. I invite the deacons to be here in the front. We're going to open our Bibles. First letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11. I'm going to read from verse 23. 1 Corinthians 11, 23, and 34. First letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 11, from verse 23. For I received from the Lord that I, which uh, also delivering to you that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread and when he had given thanks he broke the, in it and said, Take, eat this in my body with, which is broken to, for you to this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is, is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you did drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you, you eat, eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Therefore, whoever eats this bread or drinks this cup of this 
of the Lord and goes all the way to 32. You can read it later. The, the supper is not of the church Maranatha. The church is of the Lord. So we are here this morning fulfilling this commandment, fulfilling this instruction that the Lord Jesus left for us on his last days here on earth. The supper for us is a moment in which you will receive from the Lord strengthening, where you receive the understanding of what is church, what is the role of the church, what is your role as body of Christ. The church is not just this place. We are the body of Christ. So it's important that we understand this. Important that you have we have this understanding so why the church was created. Why God called you to be part of the church. So you have an important, very important role with your family members, with your neighbors, with your co workers. Why is that? Because from the moment you understand this, from the moment we're, when from in which you come down to the waters, you now are a representative of what is God's project. So now, you, whatever you, you passed, you will be proclaiming and carrying this message and telling everyone that there is, yes, a life, eternal life, and that Jesus is alive, and Jesus overcame everything, and that there is, yes, an opportunity for you and all of us to go to heaven. So it's very important, our mission, our call, it is our role is very important, not only in the community, not, not only as citizens, it is our duty to be good, good citizens. It is our duty. So the church has a very important role which is proclaiming the return of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So the supper is not ours. It is Lord, the Lord's. So if you are in fellowship, whatever you congregate, if you are ready, not according to man's eyes, but according to God's eyes. And our standard is not an earthly standard. Our standard cannot be earthly standing standard but it, it, our standard needs to be Jesus Jesus is our standard so when we look to Jesus we are yes we are able by him to participate in the supper of the Lord amen so it's a moment that we need to be working with our spiritual life of the Lord working placing his altar placing our life in his altar so that he might bless us Amen. Glory to God. So you will examine your life and you will, this morning, ask the Lord as we always do, as we always, we have this tradition. We have this teaching, this need of seeking forgiveness from the Lord and seeking fellowship with the Lord. There's one, there's one one left. Let's become Marcus to pray for, for the bread. Uh, you can mark first and then Fabio to pray for, for the wine. Pray for the element bread, which will represent the bread of Christ, that who died on the cross to forgive us, to give us eternal life. We ask, Lord, that you may remove from uh, use, uh, from the common use, and that we may do this with contrition, with fear of the Lord, that we receive a blessing as we participate in this element. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen, Lord. Lord, we glorify your name, because this for us is a privilege to be able to ex leave the experience of the sacrifice of the Son through this element that represents the blood of Jesus. 
And now we ask that this blessing may never leave us. In a way, every day we may not only experience death, but knowing that our God, our Jesus, is alive in our midst. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Elements will be served, and afterwards, all of us will participate together. So, the elements are going to be given to you, but you have to wait until the, the moment in which we all participate together.
If you have not received uh, the elements, raise your hand. Amen. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Fabio. The instruments can be soloing a song, and you at this moment needs to be speaking with the Lord, the bread first. You speak with the Lord, placing on this altar your your plea, the pain, and asking the Lord forgiveness and the means to be this morning ready to receive a greater blessing from the part of the Lord. I'd like to invite the church to stand up. Oh, to Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Let's sing softly a song. Glory to Jesus. to Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen, Lord. My children, bow your heads. Because the place where you are is holy ground. You are before the Almighty God has helped, you, has sustained you, that has brought you to this place so that you can contemplate once again the beauty of my holiness. Praise my name, my children, because this was a morning of feast. I am the one who prepared this banquet with a table with plenty. Rejoice, because that's what I have for the ones who love me. That's what I have for the ones who serve me. My grace is being poured out. The oil of my spirit that brings equilibrium, that brings patience and physical and spiritual health is being poured out upon you at this moment. And as you participate on the elements, my children, 
Do this in remembrance of my son until he returns to take you. In the moment in which you participate on my supper, receive my blessing, my peace, my love, the embrace of your soul that I provided for you this morning. The heavens are open. My angels are singing with you. They are participating with you. They are ministering on behalf of your lives. Everything that I have uh, scheduled from eternity for you this morning. Go home in peace, praising my name, because I have had zeal for you. Let's all participate together. First of the bread, and afterwards the cup. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, of oh, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Let's sit down. We're going to sing a song. All the empty cups are going to be collected.
Oh, stand up, my brethren. Oh, God, at this moment, we praise your name, Lord. And we ask that you may receive our service, our adoration to you, the expression, Lord, of our praise, our gratitude for all the deeds of the Lord in our behalf. We praise you, Lord, for this brethren who came down to do others, for this gift, Lord, for their choice, and because your church, Lord, is being protected and preserved. The church is being maintained under your mighty hands. Take us home in peace and give a rest of day in your presence. And uh, on the service later on tonight, we may once again offer a service to you and that we may be ready, Lord, to once again participate on a table, on your a feast, and that we may see salvation in your house. Is a prayer that we say, I'm really thankful. In the name of Jesus, amen. And in your name we say the wonderful grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God, our eternal Father, the sweet and tender consolations of the Holy Spirit, May be poured out upon all of us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. Normally, we have our service, the baptism service, on Saturday, but today, two brethren would not be able to be here. That's why we did in the morning. But it was a blessing, right? Amen. I uh, apologize to the brethren for the time already very late, but was necessary to participate on this moment, special moment, to be together with our brethren on this feast the Lord has prepared for everyone. We have a service 7.30 p.m. and I say, wish everyone the peace of the Lord. 